Oh my goodness, a hole in the backyard. The ground may feel like a solid place to stand, much like the buildings we rely on every day, but it can be surprisingly dangerous, sometimes collapsing dramatically in what we call a sinkhole. These can form for various reasons, including natural erosion and human activities like mining. One shocking example happened in Guatemala City in 2010, when a massive sinkhole nearly 300 feet deep opened up right in the middle of a busy area. Another incredible sight is Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas, which drops over 660 feet underwater. It's a popular spot for adventurous divers. William Newbridge, New Zealand, free immersion. 124 meters. But it also serves as a reminder of the powerful forces of nature. Today, we present some moments captured on camera of the largest sinkholes. Guatemala City Sinkhole. The disturbing truth that the enormous sinkhole that emerged in 2010 was probably caused by humans, not a natural event, is weighing heavily on the minds of Guatemala City officials. This incredible 60-foot wide and 300-foot deep sinkhole was caused by tropical storm Agatha. It is not believed that the storm was the primary cause of the collapse, although it may have started it. Erosion by fast-moving water is a particular threat to the city since it is perched on top of hundreds of feet of pumice fill, a loose material that has not yet hardened into rock. A perfect storm of lax building laws, insufficient zoning regulations, and unfixed leaky pipes may have conspired to cause the sinkhole to emerge, resulting in this disastrous occurrence. Underneath Guatemala City, you won't find the geology that normally allows sinkholes to form. Caves in limestone or the widening of existing fissures in the limestone bedrock caused by water-saturated soil. The results of poor environmental management and inadequate city planning are on full display in this sinkhole. The hazards connected with the city's shaky geological base are becoming more apparent as it keeps growing. As a result of the sinkhole's consequences, people are talking about how we need stronger rules and better infrastructure to avoid future disasters of this kind. Despite Guatemala City's reputation for rich history and culture, the recent appearance of this sinkhole has brought to light the risks that may lie beneath the city's surface. Authorities are concentrating on both short-term fixes to ensure the safety of the city and its inhabitants and longer-term remedies to determine what caused this calamity. Responsible urban development and environmental care are emphasized in a larger sense by this incident. Officials are hoping to protect the town from future geological dangers by addressing the underlying issues that contributed to the sinkhole. Schmalkalden, Germany Now, imagine waking up to find your neighborhood transformed overnight by a giant crater. That's exactly what happened to the residents of Schmalkalden, a small town in central Germany, back in 2010. In the dead of night, around 3 a.m., the ground gave way. A monstrous sinkhole, nearly 100 feet wide and 65 feet deep, opened up, swallowing a car and a garage and blocking the street. The scene was nothing short of surreal, and yet, incredibly, everyone escaped unscathed. About 25 residents were safely evacuated. Just pure luck, but what caused it? Experts think natural erosion is to blame. The sinkhole likely formed as groundwater dissolved layers of salt beds or sedimentary rock deep underground. Over time, these cavities can become unstable and suddenly collapse, creating these gaping holes. For a town of around 20,000, daily life mostly carried on, but imagine seeing a car disappear into the earth or a garage hanging over a bottomless pit. To restore the area, local authorities plan to fill the sinkhole with gravel hoping to erase any trace of this natural disaster. But for the people of Schmalkalden, the event was unforgettable, a stark reminder of how fragile our landscapes can be. Today, the townsfolk keep a watchful eye on their surroundings, alert to any signs of further erosion. The sinkhole has left its mark, both physically and in the collective memory of the town. It's a story of resilience and a reminder that nature, for all its beauty, can be wildly unpredictable.
Dicetta, Texas, sinkhole. In 2008, workers at Delac Disposal Services noticed a crack appearing in a dirt road off FM 770. This road went to their workplace. As they watched, that little fissure transformed into a massive sinkhole in only a few short hours. The people of Dicetta were shocked to see a car, utility poles, pipe racks, and saltwater storage tanks engulfed by the sinkhole. Surprisingly, the sinkhole expanded to a width of about 525 feet, a depth of 90 to 150 feet, and a length of about 600 feet from north to south. Also, the surface of the nearby FM 770 road dropped around 5 inches, bringing it within 80 feet of the sinkhole's edge. As a consequence, the town's residents were understandably terrified that the sinkhole would soon engulf their homes and businesses. People were worried about possible dangers in their neighborhood, which contributed to the scenario's overall feeling of dread. Schools were shuttered and the route was closed for several months since the incident received so much media attention. The sinkhole, thankfully, was able to level out and finally became an inconsequential feature of the terrain. Over time, locals grew used to it and started depending on it for routine tasks. Although the sinkhole caused immediate shock and terror in the neighborhood, people eventually found a way to recover and continue living their lives. People in the neighborhood aren't as scared of the sinkhole as they used to be, even though it's still a reminder of how unpredictable nature can be. The residents of Dicetta have demonstrated incredible resilience by accepting the sinkhole as an inherent part of their ecosystem and finding ways to live in harmony with it. The town's residents are focused on the future, but they can't help but think back on the amazing things that happened there in the past, and that helps them thrive. Pitcher, Oklahoma Sinkhole the long-term lead mining in the Pitcher, Oklahoma region is responsible for the formation of numerous sinkholes in the area. Although one sinkhole might not seem like a major problem, Pitcher is actually facing a considerably more serious situation. From its initial diameter of 8 feet, a gigantic sinkhole rapidly expanded upon its 2001 discovery south of the downtown area. Ottawa County is home to a network of over 200 sinkholes, this one included. 50 of them are at least 95 feet in diameter, and a couple of them are much bigger. It is most likely that a sinkhole near Peacher widened and filled with water, creating a big pond. Houses collapsing and entire streets giving way have been described in a number of horrifying instances. One incident in which a driver irresponsibly drove into a sinkhole while ignoring obstacles highlighted the dangers that this affected neighborhood faced. To address the extensive damage caused by lead mining, officials have proposed transforming the area into wetlands. This plan's objective is to lessen the likelihood of lead poisoning, cave-ins, and exposed mining holes. Management initiatives have been addressing the region's environmental issues since the 1980s, but a long way has been traveled. The environmental damage that might occur as a result of industrialization over time is starkly illustrated by the Peacher Dilemma. As a result of these strange geological features, the local population has lived in continual anxiety. Peacher, in contrast to other cities that have successfully adapted to modern times, is still suffering from the consequences of its mining heritage. There have been ongoing efforts to address these concerns, but many residents have fled for safety, turning the hamlet into a ghost town. Although the town of Peacher is most famous for its sinkholes, its residents have overcome adversity and become legends thanks to the region's rich industrial history. Resource exploitation must adhere to sustainable procedures and thoroughly evaluate environmental impacts, as demonstrated by the community's route. Sinkhole Duckbill Spillway, Salaulam Dam Although most people don't typically plan to visit a sinkhole, the one near Salaulam Dam is truly a hidden gem worth your attention. If you find yourself traveling through South Goa, make sure to prioritize this unique destination. Situated near the town of Sanquilim, the dam harnesses the Salaulam River, a tributary of the Zari River, providing a vital source of drinking water for the surrounding area. At first glance, a body of water might not seem all that interesting. However, this particular body of water covers over 9 square miles and has a unique half-circle outflow that seems like a huge sinkhole. In a spectacular cascade, the water drops 50 feet to the first level, before plunging another 100 feet into a black abyss, creating a stunning mist that surrounds the dam. This unusual but aesthetically pleasing pattern makes one think of a sinkhole or even a duckbill. 
During the monsoon season in July to November, when the landscape is alive with activity and full of life, the Salalam Dam is at its most breathtaking. Rains will enhance the dam's natural attractiveness, giving tourists a chance to witness its magnificence up close. It is open to the public daily from 9 in the morning until 6 in the evening, providing a fantastic chance for photography and touring. Enjoy the breathtaking scenery, the soothing sound of the cascading water, and the mist that rises from the waterfalls for an unforgettable experience. The Selalam Dam provides an enthralling backdrop for anybody interested in nature, photography, or seeking a unique location to explore. Therefore, you must make sure to include a visit to this breathtaking sinkhole in your schedule for South Goa. It claims to give a glimpse of nature's splendor and an intriguing look at how these kinds of geological formations might become an important component of the local ecosystem. Wishing you a wonderful journey. Devil's Den in Williston, Florida Despite the usual problems that arise from sinkholes, the Devil's Den in Williston, Florida is an impressive natural creation. In recent years, this sinkhole, once thought of as an eyesore, has become a famous tourist destination. The water surfaced hundreds of years ago when a roof over an underground river collapsed, creating its formation. At a steady 72 degrees Fahrenheit, the water here makes for a breathtaking show, particularly in the winter when vapor rises at the entry, giving the impression of a portal to unknown depths. A narrow aperture served as the only point of entry to the sinkhole prior to its expansion in the 1990s, making it much simpler for tourists to explore. This one-of-a-kind location is now privately held and runs as a scuba diving school and recreational center. While the cave itself drops around 54 feet, the water level in the sinkhole reaches over 200 feet. Along with that, there are four submerged tunnels that lead to rooms that contain human and animal bones, as well as relics from bygone eras. Not only may divers and swimmers enjoy the site's waters, but they can also take in its historical significance and wonder at its natural beauty. Nature enthusiasts, scuba divers, and photographers will be captivated by Devil's Den due to the crystal clear water and picturesque surroundings. The Devil's Den sinkhole stands in stark contrast to the usual dangerous sinkholes due to its unusual beauty and fascinating past. Attracting sightseers interested in delving into its depths and taking in its tranquil atmosphere, it serves as a monument to nature's magnificence and awe. This sinkhole is absolutely unique and will make an impression on everybody who visits, whether they are seeking adventure or pleasure. Never Sink Pit in Alabama Not all towns in the vicinity of sinkholes suffer negative effects. In fact, some turn these natural wonders into breathtaking tourist destinations. An Alabama formation that fits this description is the Never Sink Pit, often known as Never Sink Cave. Limestone ledges dotted with ferns and stunning cascades plunge into the mysterious depths of this extraordinary sinkhole, exposing water so pure it appears to have been filtered. As one of the world's most photographed sinkholes, Never Sink has gained legendary status. With a total depth of 162 feet, the sinkhole measures around 40 feet at its widest point and around 100 feet at its deepest. Never Sink is unique among sinkholes because it is easily accessible to experienced climbers and cavers, who have produced a wide variety of photographs that may be found online. In order to guarantee that the natural splendor of these formations is maintained for centuries to come, the Southeastern Cave Conservancy is committed to preserving caves across the southern United States. Whether you decide to venture into the depths of the sinkhole or just stop by for some pictures, Never Sink's one-of-a-kind charm will undoubtedly make an impact. Its stunning scenery, with its verdant foliage and eye-catching water features, guarantees that guests will never forget their stay. Discovering this natural treasure will not only be an eye-opening experience, but will also foster an appreciation for nature and a spirit of exploration. A prime example of the remarkable beauty that can arise from geological formations, Never Sink Pit is both easily accessible and boasts breathtaking views. It is a must-visit location for nature lovers since it exemplifies how Mother Nature can fashion extraordinary places that beg for discovery and awe. Ik Kilcenote in Mexico Ik Kilcenote is a great option for those who are looking for something thrilling to do while on vacation in Mexico. 
This sinkhole, or natural pit, is located in Yucatan and is really gorgeous. Bring your swimsuit and camera since this location in the Ik Kiel Archaeological Park, close to Chichen Itza, is ideal for swimming. Located around 85 feet below ground level, this extraordinary sea note offers a breathtaking view as it opens up to the sky above. You can take an endless number of leisurely dips in the pool. After descending an exquisitely carved staircase that leads to a swimming platform, Ik Kill, which is conveniently situated near the Mayan ruins along the highway to Valladolid, has a depth of around 157 feet and a circle of about 200 feet. This cenote was considered holy ground by the ancient Mayans, who sacrificed humans there to appease Chak the rain god. The captivating charm of this breathtaking natural wonder is heightened by its extensive past. There are a lot of facilities available to guests in addition to swimming. There's a place to eat, places to buy trinkets, and bikes to rent so you can see more of the area. An adjacent hotel can even accommodate an extended stay. There is genuinely something for everyone in Ikil Cenote. There is no better place than this cenote to unwind in the water, learn about the past, or take in the sights of nature. It is an absolute must-see in Yucatan due to its breathtaking scenery, historical importance, and plenty of outdoor activities. Therefore, make sure you take advantage of your trip to discover this natural beauty. The Great Blue Hole The Great Blue Hole is an extraordinary natural wonder located within the Lighthouse Reef, a famous coral reef that is part of the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System. This massive underwater sinkhole measures 984 feet across and plunges to a depth of 410 feet, creating a striking drop of over 400 feet into the Earth's crust. For years, it has been a paradise for snorkelers and scuba divers alike. Explorers have long navigated the shallow surface waters, where the vivid turquoise hue contrasts dramatically with the dark depths below. While many visitors enjoy the shallows, only a few brave souls have ventured into the murky waters. Believed to harbor an array of marine life, those who have taken the plunge often encounter turtles, giant corals, and reef sharks. However, at around 300 feet deep, all signs of life vanish, replaced by a toxic layer of hydrogen sulfide that blankets the sinkhole. Despite the eerie and mysterious depths, the Great Blue Hole remains an enticing sight to explore from the surface. It is not only one of the largest sinkholes of its kind, but also holds the distinction of being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The site attracts divers and nature enthusiasts from all over the globe, drawn by its unique underwater landscape and rich biodiversity. Visitors often marvel at the stunning visual effects created by the interplay of light and water, making it a photographer's dream. Whether you're an experienced diver or simply looking to witness this natural phenomenon from above, the Great Blue Hole offers a one-of-a-kind experience. Its beauty and geological significance make it a must-see destination for anyone visiting Belize. Don't miss the opportunity to explore this iconic landmark, where the allure of adventure meets the wonders of nature. Speedway Sinkhole In 2010, a sinkhole formed in the infield days before the Bank of America 500, putting officials at Charlotte Motor Speedway in an unexpected race. Not on the track, but against time to fix it. It was just not an option to cancel the concert with up to 100,000 fans anticipated to attend. A sinkhole 35 feet deep and 75 feet wide, developed due in part to the speedway's construction atop a dump. The sinkhole was caused by the collapse of a drain pipe that was more than 30 years old. The combination of years of use and severe weather eventually caused it to give out. A speedway representative confirmed that the broken pipe had been restored and that crews were now hard at work compacting and backfilling the area. Although the sinkhole was an obstacle, it was anticipated that it would have little bearing on the event. There may be some little adjustments that some guests, especially those in recreational vehicles preparing for the weekend's events, notice, but the main event will still go forward as scheduled. Due to the critical nature of the situation, the personnel worked tirelessly to overcome unforeseen obstacles and keep the race weekend running well. The venue's tenacity and dedication to its patrons were on full display as it swiftly adjusted to the circumstances. Although the memory of the sinkhole remained in the background, 
the Bank of America 500 ultimately proceeded without a hitch, thrilling both racers and spectators. A cautionary tale about the unpredictability of event planning on a grand scale, this tragedy highlights the need for swift and decisive action to guarantee the well-being of all participants. The Speedway is prepared to face any potential surprises and maintains its position as a top racing destination. Potassium Mining Sinkholes in Berezniki, Russia the 150,000 people who call the Russian city of Berezniki home are in for a bumpy ride because of the area's troubled past as a Soviet-era potash mining facility. Underground cities have large caverns and voids due to the nearly century-long potassium extraction from the Ural Mountains. When a freshwater spring started to run through these mines in 2006 at an altitude of 720 to 1,500 feet underground, the situation became much worse. Numerous, enormous sinkholes emerged across the city as a result of the pillars supporting the cave ceilings weakening and collapsing due to the inflow of water. One of the biggest sinkholes, which measured more than 1,300 feet across and reached a depth of 656 feet, was among the many impacts. The sole railway line servicing the mines, an essential source of employment for the locals, is under grave danger from this sinkhole. As things became worse, city officials considered moving everyone to the other side of the Kama River, where they think the ground is stronger. About 12,000 people have already decided to leave their houses as a safety precaution, even though engineers have said that no more sinkholes are predicted. Concerns over safety and sustainability in the long run have been heightened by the persistent problems, which show how industrial activities continue to impact urban areas. Effective urban design is especially crucial in places vulnerable to geological instability, as the Berezniki issue shows. It is also important to deal with the fallout from previous mining operations. While tackling these problems, the city must keep its citizens' safety and the possibility of future development in a safer area in mind. Chero Sarisari Nama Sinkholes in Venezuela In 1961, pilot Harry Gibson discovered an interesting find at Chero Sarisari Nama, a mountain with a flat summit in Yawa Sarisari Nama National Park, a cluster of sinkholes. Because of this, a finding team was established in 1974 to investigate these mysterious landmarks. A better prepared group came back two years later to keep digging. A striking environment is created by the sheer cliffs that characterize the rough plateau, some of which reach heights of almost 2,000 meters. Of the sinkholes that are worth mentioning, four are very large. With a width of 1,154 feet and a depth of 1,030 feet, the Sama Humboldt system is the largest. The 813-foot deep Sema Martel is barely 2,259 feet distant. Sema de la Uvia, a quartzite cave, was found during the second exploration, which led to the discovery of a third sinkhole. With a length of 0.83 miles, it was the longest cave of its type for a while. Only by helicopter can one reach these sinkholes, and the aerial view of their patterns is quite breathtaking. The fact that the closest road is hundreds of miles distant further emphasizes the site's isolation. Enormous trees, some 50 to 80 feet tall, encircle the peak of the mountain, adding to its seclusion, and the forest covers the entire mountain. Towards the edge of Venezuela, not far from the Brazilian border, lies Chero Sarisarinama. It is an extraordinary location for explorers and scientists due to its unusual geological features and beautiful landscape. Those lucky enough to witness it are enchanted by the captivating scenery that results from the mix of towering cliffs, thick flora, and fascinating sinkholes. Dean's Blue Hole Near Long Island's Clarence Town is Dean's Blue Hole, one of the world's deepest blue holes known to science. The extraordinary feature stands out for multiple reasons. It is a sinkhole, which is defined as a hole in the ground that is completely filled with water and has its entrance submerged. The average depth of a blue hole is about 360 feet, but Dean's Blue Hole drops an astounding 663 feet. It has a typically spherical shape with a diameter that ranges from 82 to 115 feet. The entrance to the cavern is located approximately 66 feet below ground level, and there is about 330 feet of area within to explore. Scuba divers and snorkelers love it here because, on good days, they can see down to 115 feet. 
a lot of people go to Dean's Blue Hole to take pictures of it and to marvel at how beautiful it is. By freediving 302 feet with fins in 2010, professional diver William Truebridge achieved one of the most remarkable feats linked to this blue hole. Only four years after that, he shattered his own record by plunging 331 feet without using his breath at all. using only his feet and hands as propulsion. Even for the most experienced divers, Dean's Blue Hole poses formidable hurdles due to its incredible depths, as this incredible feat attests. In addition to its depth, Dean's Blue Hole is attractive due to the spectacular underwater beauty and the thrill it provides. Whether you're a scuba diver wanting to explore its depths or just a tourist seeking to take in the breathtaking vistas, Dean's Blue Hole is an unforgettable sight. Dragon Hole in 2016, the claim that Dragon Hole in the South China Sea was the deepest underwater sinkhole in the world was questioned. Investigators from the Sanchez Ship Course Research Institute for Coral Protection spent almost a year probing this location, which inhabitants have affectionately called the Eye of the South China Sea. They measured the sinkhole at an astounding 987 feet using an underwater robot with a depth sensor. This is much deeper than Dean's Blue Hole, which only reaches 663 feet. In the higher parts of Dragon Hole, the researchers found a diverse array of fish species. At 328 feet below the surface, however, oxygen levels drop precipitously, making the water uninhabitable for the vast majority of marine species. The fascinating thing about Dragon Hole is how the barren depths below contrast so sharply with the lush life above. After learning of this massive sinkhole, officials in China's Hainan province quickly set out to investigate and safeguard it. The geological components and microbiological activities that contributed to the creation of this remarkable blue hole will be the primary foci of future investigations. Exploring its depths has piqued the interest of scientists who hope to learn more about the area's history and ecological dynamics. The scientific importance of Dragon Hole is secondary to the fact that it attracts intrepid scuba divers and adventurers with its mystique, an incredible place to explore, thanks to its stunning underwater scenery and the stark contrast between the light, oxygen-rich top and the dark, oxygen-poor depths below. The ongoing exploration of Dragon Hole holds great potential for the discovery of important details on marine ecosystems and geological structures. Its depth and complexity keep scientists and explorers captivated, and they learn more about the ecological significance of underwater habitats as a result. Katra Depression Although sinkholes are common all across the globe, the Katra Depression in Egypt, to the west of Cairo, is among the biggest and most promising. It lies 435 feet below ground in the Libyan Desert Basin and covers an enormous 7,000 square miles. This one-of-a-kind geography with its salt lakes and marshes was vital to the British defense in 1942 as the German army advanced, since military traffic was unable to overcome its difficult terrain. Finding oil in the south in the 1970s brought attention to the region's potential as a source of energy. The massive Katara Depression has recently been the focus of efforts to generate energy. Scientists have proposed a daring idea that includes digging a conduit to link it to the Mediterranean Sea. This project, which is projected to cost over $360 million, has the potential to turn the depression into a lake about the size of Lake Erie over the course of about 160 years. One example of nature's incredible potential is the concept of harnessing energy from such a natural feature. The Katara Depression is a potential source of renewable energy and a window into past geological processes. The ongoing development efforts in this field highlight the special relationship between the natural world and human creativity. Travelers to the Katara Depression can take in the breathtaking scenery and think about the ecological and economic opportunities it offers. The potential and history of this sinkhole capture the wonder and complexity of nature. Whether seen through the lens of history or as a center for potential innovation, the Katara Depression exemplifies the fascination of nature and the potential that lies beneath the surface. And that's a wrap on our video. It's wild to think how these giant holes can create such stunning sights and sometimes a bit of chaos too. 
Have you ever seen a sinkhole in real life or maybe visited one? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments. If you enjoyed this journey, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video.